everyone. Welcome to Lesson Plan 3, Maintenance of Psych Control. I'm sitting next to my partner, Athena. We are going to be now working on controlling our opponent. Here's a couple facts before we get into this. If I'm on top of you and you're on bottom of me, I should not be exerting more energy to hold you down than you are using to escape. That being said, when I'm passing a guard in half and half guard or full guard and I'm passing, I use pressure. Once I have side control on my opponent, I use pressure to regain position and then I focus on my position. I really hope you guys get that. Because I shouldn't I already have side control. I don't want to come down. I don't want to add pressure the whole time and have her bridge and roll me over. So that can only occur from me overcompensating and using pressure the whole time. If I'm doing that, I'm gonna get tired. Uh, I don't want, I gotta rely on my position. Now, first of all, we need to get in perfect side control. I want this arm trapped. I want my opponent's back exposed. My knee goes underneath it a little bit to give them the option that they're going that way. I don't want them to turn in. They wanna turn. I want them to turn away, expose their back, weakest part. My other knee will be placed in the hip bone. My arm will be over the top of their arm and I'm gonna get so tight here that I'm pinching her arm. I'm gonna lock my hand underneath and I'm gonna have a far side underhook with my elbows, my elbow tight to her body and my hands locked in a gable grip. My shoulder's gonna lightly turn her head to look away and I have my head down in a position where it can't get hooked and pushed away. So my head is down. Now if my opponent moves, I move. If my opponent moves, I move. I'm focusing on my position. Wherever they go, even if she bridges, I'm still tight. I've never lost the connection of my body and her body. So the first drill is just a movement drill where I stay in position that I just talked about. Now, as I do this, the bottom person may focus on getting their elbow down to the mat. And if this happens, this is a good time to apply pressure. Go back down. As I feel her elbow escape to the mat in between our bodies, I know I'm in trouble. I can A, add pressure, and then use my arm to secure her position. I can B, use my hips and cut my bottom leg in, reposition and secure, which is a lot safer because I don't lose my top position. Or I can do them both at the same time. I'm here, she gets her elbow down, I pressure, I cut my hip, I slide my arm, I elevate, and I come down back into perfect position. And she moves and moves, she gets it down back into perfect position. So that's a drill that can be added to the last drill of just movement. Then you add pressure, reposition, move, 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 so we don't get tunnel vision. Because as she moves, that separation creates a big problem for the top person. I don't want that separation. These are easy drills. 